now racing toward the hospital. On Stimmons Freeway, past the trademark to the right where the president was to have spoken, where he was to have criticized the fanatical right. There, a picket. That is Parkland Hospital, a mile and a half to two miles from the shooting scene. Parkland Hospital, where the president died in Dallas. By the time these films were shot, of course, the presidential car was already at the hospital. This is Major General Clifton, the military aide of the president, press secretary going into the hospital. These pictures, this is, this is General Clifton. Newsmen hurry to the emergency room. The president's wife arrives, stunned. This is Mrs. Kennedy in the middle. At this point, no one knows, no one knew rather, whether the president was alive or dead. Mrs. Kennedy conferring with a Dallas policeman who had sped the president to the hospital and into the emergency room goes Mrs. Kennedy. A corsage of roses lies inside the car in which President Kennedy was shot. A stunned Congressman Jim Wright of Fort Worth tells what he saw from a few cars back. The disbelief registered on every face. These films from outside the emergency room of Parkland Hospital in Dallas as the president is dying inside. S Senator Ralph Yarbrough who saw the shooting, said he heard shots and then saw a Secret Service man pound his fist against a rear fender of the presidential car in anguish. Two priests arrived to administer last rites. Their names are not yet known. The deed still is not registered with many outside the hospital. And the horror begins to sink in. These are some of the witnesses in the area of the shooting, there was a great deal of disbelief at first that the president had even been shot, and even more disbelief that he was dead. Hospital sources gave this report of the arrival at the emergency entrance to the hospital, and I quote from the hospital, the president was lying motionless in the car. Mrs. Kennedy was leaning over him, holding him. Governor Connolly was leaning back in the seat, holding his stomach. Both men were covered with blood. Mrs. Kennedy reportedly held up very well inside. She was heard only to say, Jack, Jack, no, no. This is Ed Hogan of WFAA Television in Dallas, Texas. We are standing on the grounds of Parkland Hospital where President Kennedy was brought just uh, a few hours ago and has died as most of you have already, uh, already know. We want to uh, possibly talk to some of the people here who are standing. What is your name, please? Uh, Mrs. Quincy Adams. Mrs. Quincy, are you from Dallas, Ms. Adams? Yes. How does this affect you? Uh, well, it's just a complete shock, and I think it's just it means a doom for our country. Well, it's uh, it's a terrible thing, and it's shaken up and uh, shocked everybody. Well, it, it has, and I think Dallas will never get over this. Thank you very much. 
Uh, may I speak with uh, you, please? Uh, I'm Ed Hogan of WFAA TV. If you turn right around this, what is your name, please? Uh, Mrs. Schofield. And uh, Mrs. Schofield, uh, how do you feel on this? Uh, pretty terrible about it. We're from Loveland, Colorado. We're just down here for today. Just got down. Oh, you are. I have a daughter, daughter bad sick. Here. All broke up over a, a hit and run accident the other day. Well, I'm awfully. Hospital. That's what we're trying to get in now to see her. Well, I'm awfully well, I sorry. I just feel terrible about this. I just think it's one of the most terrible things that's ever happened. It certainly is that, and thank you so much for speaking with us. Uh, may I ask your name, please? I see, you, I see you're wearing a banner, uh, Lanny. Colts, I wonder if you have a football game tonight. Yes, sir. I would imagine. What school do you go to? Uh, Cary. To Cary School Edward here Cary. in Dallas? Yes, sir. How do you feel? What is your reaction to this terrible thing that has happened to our president? Well, I just can't see why anybody would want to uh, shoot Mr. Kennedy for all the things he's done for us and tried to keep us from getting into war and everything. I see. And who is this with you here? Uh, Don, Don, Don Myers. Myers. What's your name? Don Myers. Don, how, how do you feel on this terrible I day? I just think it's just a shame, because, I mean, I don't know why anybody would want to kill him. Thank you very much for speaking with us. We might get over here. What is your name, please? Gary Vertz. Gary Vertz. Uh-huh. And Gary, are you from Dallas? Yes, I am. How do you feel? What is your reaction to this terrible thing that has happened? Well, it's a bad thing that's happened. It should, I think it shouldn't have happened here, really, because it's going to give this place a real bad name. Thank you very much. I believe uh, right now this is about all the people that we have here within the proximity of our length of cord on the microphone, but we will repeat that we're standing on the grounds of uh, Parkland Memorial Hospital in Dallas, Texas, where just a few hours ago, the President of the United States was brought. His body was brought here after an assassin. His bullet, a sniper, took away his life at a very early age of 45 years.